if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be down in the description box below energy moves and flows this could be your energy your person's energy or a mix of both all right and uh, feel free to switch the sides all right so pick and choose the side that you resonate most with there is a lack of decision making there is a lack of decision making out here is what i see here someone's not making a choice so you could be indecisive the person you're dealing with could be indecisive okay but this indecision is not because someone does not want to give the other person a second chance i feel the indecision is because the other person is fearing of making their own choice or fearing of repeating the same mistake over and over again this could also be fear uh, of going wrong completely okay but that's the crux of the reading here there is a lack of a new beginning out here there is a lack of reconciliation out here okay why because there could be someone here who's non committal okay or you could have been very very focused very committed to someone okay but now you're changing your belief system you're choosing not to commit to this person you're choosing not to um say you thought this was a very spiritual connection is what i'm getting a very um destined connection but now you feel that this isn't and because of it you are not wanting to give something a second chance out here maybe there has been too many repetitive uh, maybe there has been too many negative patterns a lot of repetition okay the same cycle and over and over again i feel you're not trusting your intuition okay you're not trusting your intuition someone isn't here uh someone here having a hard time <clears throat> differentiating between their intuition and their feelings or intuition and their emotions and i think that's what's going on uh so um you could be someone here who is very very intuitive but you're choosing not to trust your intuition because earlier probably you trust your intuition and it didn't lead you in the right way or you didn't get the results that you wanted because of which now you're choosing to trust your emotions now emotions ego is also a part of emotion so i think you are very stuck between your logic ego and your intuition out here your emotion is probably your ego is probably stopping you from um So getting the messages okay there are a lot of messages probably the universe is giving you but you're not really listening to them or you're not being able to interpret the messages in the right way out here what's blocking this is that you are too focused on your money your career your goals your financial independence so say earlier you were very focused on wanting stability security with this person out here wanting something long term you know you were very invested into this person now what's happening is that you've completely withdrawn yourself caps you completely withdrawn yourself you're no longer interested in this person which is why we have the hierophant in reverse on your mind so on your mind is that anyways this person is non committal why should i even waste my time waste my energy on this person i'd rather invest my energy into something that'll anyways come into fruition okay or just get into something more uh productive is what i'd say which is why there is uh like i said um indecision a lack of a reconciliation okay In the past year, I feel that this person tried to come back towards you, okay? Or this was just someone who couldn't move on from you. So the person that you're dealing with is the one who tried to walk away from you, okay? Someone who was very emotionally unavailable, or someone who just did not want to be emotionally vulnerable is what I'm getting, okay? They didn't have uh, the emotional strength to walk away from you, okay? So I feel someone did come back in the past. In the near future, here I feel that there is this. heavy sense of emotional codependency that you have or they have on you okay because this is telling me with the nine of cups in reverse that one of you looks at the other person as a wish fulfillment it feels like this is the person who you're dealing with this person is very dependent on you okay to make them happy you make them happy out here but again the problem here is you're dealing with someone who is again just stuck on the nine this person is just stuck you're there at the end of the cycle they can have it all with you okay the 10 of cups is very close but are they willing to have the 10 of cups with you i don't think so i think you're dealing with someone who loves you very very much all right no one compares to you is what i'm hearing but when it comes to getting things to a stable level getting things to the next level or getting things more committed or putting a label on the connection that's when this person is not ready for that and you're not ready to compromise anywhere so you want that label but now there's no more of that commitment from your side to make this work out okay which is why you don't want to repeat uh, the same negative like pattern or which is why you feel that this is not a good idea okay of wanting a reconciliation all right so that's what i'm getting here i think um there is this sense 
of uh, you know i'm getting that you've had like a very strong will power you know you have this strength this willingness this determination to make things work out with this person okay you've come a very long way is what I, what i'm getting here okay and you've been doing this with this person over and over and over and over again you've tried to make this work out like a 100 million times clearly it's not working out for you so now what i feel is that you've reached a point where now you're you're giving up you feel you don't have the strength to hold on to this you're exhausted tired okay you were still going on but i feel now there's been a point you've reached a point where you're like you know what done and dusted and done over finito the person you're dealing with this person is coming towards you okay they want to come towards you i'd rather say that okay you have the four of cups in your environment that you don't see coming this person out here is wanting to come towards you they want to give you an offer okay this person realizes that they fucked up in the past they want to come towards you wanting to give you an apology wanting to make you an offer an emotional offer of any sort okay could be an emotional commitment whatever it may be but the problem here is they fear rejection okay this person lacks the confidence out here so they're being very stubborn right now all right so yes they want to come towards you they want to offer you something emotional they want to come towards you and offer but the problem here is they could be very focused very focused on the past okay uh so the past memories keep replaying all right and uh because of which this person is always afraid of wanting to approach you okay i'm getting here i'm getting a very strong sabotaging energy out here okay it's like this person comes back towards you they leave you because they feel that they can't give you what you want they don't want to hurt you so they walk away they can't move away they can't walk away they come back to you again again it's the same story again they realize oh but you know i can't commit to her or him you know and then again they walk away so they keep coming back to you you know because they don't have the strength in them to walk away from you because they are heavily invested into you okay this person is very invested into you this is no bullshit all right it's just the commitment part that this person can't really handle here this person's like like say like a free willing explorer okay this person it's very okay this person can get interested in you they can love you okay but it's very difficult to hold this person's attention okay it's very difficult to tie this person down and probably that's what you're doing you want structure you want some rigid structure you want stability security and that's something that this person is not really the best at that's not really their forte okay you've been pretty hurt because of which you're you know I'd say you're not being practical right now. Okay, I think you are. Uh, you could be someone who's trying to just focus on your money right now, but not in a good way. In a way where you can get distracted from whatever's happened between you both. Okay, which is why again, your intuition, your guides are giving you a message. Your guides are intuitively trying to guide you. You know, your angels. But you're choosing not to listen to them. Why? Because the pain is so deep. Is what I'm getting. Well, if you listen to your intuition, maybe your intuition is asking you to wait for them. Maybe your intuition is telling you, no, this person loves you. They will come back. They'll give you what you want. You just need to wait. But I think the damage is done. I think there's so much damage done that you've reached a point of no return with them, or they have. You know, so that's what I'm getting here. In your emotions with the justice in reverse, I feel that. Um, the need for you to have that balance that justice is very very strong but you feel that things are just not fair you feel you have given and given and given like been overly generous with this person with your emotions your stability your security your feelings your vulnerability everything you've given this person your everything unfortunately you'd never got anything back okay something was like not fair it wasn't balanced maybe this person cheated on you maybe they lied to you or maybe they just did something very very unethical all right it could be anything but probably a lot of emotional abuse is what i'm getting here okay and that's what's in your emotions that's your biggest fear that if you give this person a second opportunity what is what is the guarantee that it won't turn out to be the same way that it turned out to be all this while all right that's why with the page of wands in reverse here this person here wants to give you an offer they want to talk to you but you're dealing with someone who's a procrastinator very immature is what i'd say someone who is constantly probably even daydreaming about you they want to talk to you the passion is there right but it's that push they don't get that motivation to come towards you and um start this relationship uh see four of wands in reverse there is no stability security in this connection maybe something was revealed where you realize that you know what this is just not working out but i feel that this person out here could also be someone who's not trusting their intuition and they are not putting in the work that is needed in order for the situation to come to a point of stability commitment all right the stability commitment can be there it's achievable it's not so difficult 
but the work has to be put there it's going to come with a price and the price is going to be your action or this person's action their determination to make things a success okay queen of pentacles in reverse or maybe something could be revealed yeah see with the tower here i think you're taking like a very drastic approach towards this person is what i'm getting here okay there could have been something could have come out all of a sudden or there could have been something that was revealed all of a sudden which made you feel like you know what fuck it i don't want this person i want to work on myself out here okay but i feel more than anything i feel this is a change of perception that you have now with the tower card out here you're changing your perception all this while i think you were very heavily invested into this person like i said but now there's a change of perception you're changing the way you're thinking about this connection you're thinking about this person etc okay the way you view this person is someone probably who's like a complete disaster and you don't want that so before you have to go through you know um something more painful again i think you're just trying to dodge a bullet and you're just changing your illusion you were in an illusion all this while but now your illusion has been broken and now you just have no choice but to work on yourself okay in order to divert your mind from this what's the hierophant in reverse on your mind yeah so you have no hope guys you have no hope no faith that this work out your trust in the universe is very 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 um weak is what i'd say universe is trust uh, the universe is testing you they're testing your faith they're testing how badly you want this if you really want this if you still want this person if you still want this commitment start manifesting start having a positive mindset okay let go of this negativity okay it's not going to work it's just going to make you even more miserable okay and i think that even if when this person has to come back towards you the process is going to be even more delayed okay i understand that the tower moment can like really do serious damage to you but uh due to an external circumstance but being positive is one of the most uh difficult things but something that is in your control is what i'd say stop trying to control something which is external okay you need to exercise self control if it's not in your control let it go what's in your control do that okay what's the judgment in reverse what's the judgment in reverse yeah see this is what's happening here you're not being someone out here or both of you is what i'd say i'm not being able to let the cycle end not being able to let the cycle end because either you guys fear that there is going to be no new beginning with the same person or you fear that there is a lot of changes that you need to make you know within this um cycle but i feel out here someone is showing a lot of resistance or i could see the other way also that you may not want to give this a second chance and you're trying to heal trying to overcome the pain the backstabbing and betrayal that you had with this person i think that's what i'd go for yeah pretty much i think you're releasing all the fear stress and anxiety that you had related to this person related to the situation and i feel you're ready to let this go you're moving on yeah you're moving on and you don't want to give this a second opportunity eight of cups in reverse please so this person you know what's happening here is that's a very um immature person that you're dealing with okay the kind of person that you're dealing with is very very immature so what happens is that this person they probably uh, don't talk to you directly they talk to you indirectly okay so they come in towards you they probably say something shitty or they just say something in a way where you get the hope and faith that things are now going to get better between you guys but the moment you get the hope it's all gone like they just run away they vanish you know why is that because with eight of cups and reverse like i said this person is emotionally very heavily invested in you they can't walk away from you which forces them to keep coming back towards you but again with that immaturity with that communi- with that lack of communication you know page of swords and reverse me doesn't always mean that this person is not communicating it can also mean that they're watching you from a distance but indirectly they keep giving you hints okay that they still want you you know so they do stuff like that you know which gets you confused in your head like what do you want do you want this or not okay but the truth is that they will never they haven't told you till this while that they are very heavily invested they still want you they still miss you they still love you okay but it's like with these immature ways is the only way that they can express it why again like i said four of cups they're very very uh they fear rejection okay uh they know they've taken advantage of you 
that's for sure. What's the nine of cups in reverse? Nine of cups in reverse. I think this person has clarity. This person will have clarity or has clarity in the near future that they are very, very unhappy without you. Okay. This person may in the near future or could be you, you know, who tries to act like, oh, you're all okay. You're happy. You know, I'm getting that sense of arrogance, that sense of, um, say, um, so there is self-esteem and there is, um, self-confidence but i'm getting pride from this person okay so this person has the idea they have clarity that you're the one that they want they're not happy without you they know they're very codependent on you emotionally okay and they have the clarity but the problem here is that fear right some people just are like that they, they, the fear is so strong they just can't move because this person is very afraid of rejection they can't take rejection is what i'm saying they can't handle rejection and i think the kind of damage that they've done they pretty much know that they're going to be rejected on the first shot or you already have. What's the nine of wands in reverse? Yeah, you're choosing another direction, you know, you're choosing a different way. You're choosing a different path. It's tough. It's tough, but I feel that you're no longer waiting for this person out here, okay? I think you've been fed up of waiting for this person. You probably chose this person over and over and over again, only to realize that you weren't really happy with the outcome, okay? You weren't really happy with the choice you made here. Now you're going back to the blackboard, and now you're going back and trying to see, like, like should I still wait, or should I just move on? You're at a crossroads out here. Still not made, made that decision yet. But you're at a crossroads, okay? You're very close to making a different, a completely different direction, okay? Making a completely di different choice, leaving this person away. You could be, some of you could be in a long distance relationship, but you're giving up, like I said. You're refusing to compromise and you're just giving up. Four of Cups, please. Page of cups and it was dude this person is very immature i don't know what you're how are you handling this how are you handling this this person is very mature you're showing up as the fucking queen of pentacles they're the page of cups i mean it's not even a pentacle from their side you know i mean this person has a lot of emotions for you but what's the word what's the meaning of having emotions if you're not going to be able to open your mouth and just tell the person that you love them if i say i love you or you just say you love me too right whether you do, <clears throat> say yes. If you don't, just say a no. But what's the point of keeping all those emotions bottled up only because you don't want to be vulnerable? That's heavy fear of rejection and not wanting to open up, not wanting to be vulnerable, you know? I think this person out here, they try to talk themselves out of this situation. They know they can't move on emotionally, but they try to, you know, like how people try to convince themselves, you know, with that inner talk, negative self-talk. Uh, oh, she's anyways going to reject you. Or he's going to reject you. Or, oh, this is never going to work out. Oh, well, there's many other fish in the sea. Or something like, you know, I have a lot of work to do. I don't have time for this. You know what I'm saying? That's what they're doing. They keep talking themselves down, you know? And they try to talk themselves out of this connection is what I'm getting here. Justice in reverse. Justice in reverse. See, this person... This person, I think, is very logical. One thing I'm getting for sure. And the other thing is, even if they're not logical, right? This person tries to be logical. They try, pretend to be logical because this person realizes the amount of love that they have for you. It's too deep. It's something that cannot be... Um, you can't shake this kind of love, okay? So what happens is they try to see things more realistically, okay? Is what I'm getting here. Another way to get out of this uh, connection or try to just convince themselves that it's okay it's not moving on it's not working out but the heart is a heart right you can't i mean the heart wants what it wants that's where this person's fucked up the magician okay so yeah you know that this person somewhere somehow has been um you know unfair to you things are not balanced but you are secretly manifesting this new start with them okay you do want a new opportunity with this person you are manifesting this person by probably focusing on yourself law of attraction right you're focusing on you and you probably are talking positive, giving yourself positive affirmations. See that? Seven of Pentacles. I don't see you as investing into this connection right now, but 
like I said, I don't even see you as completely giving up. I did see the Ten of Swords in reverse here, but I, like I said, right, Ten of Swords in reverse can also be where you keep replaying the, the negative memories over and over again. You can't let go of the past and you just want the cycle not to end, you know, so badly. Why? Because you don't know once you end the cycle, is it going to be a new beginning with this person or will this, will this scenario completely end? That's what your problem is. Page of Wands in reverse. Why is the page of wands in reverse here? Yeah, I think you're just waiting and watching right now. Whatever this person wants to do. Page of wands in reverse with the king of wands here. This person is extremely conflicted. They don't know what approach they should take towards you. Should they come towards you? Hey, babe, what's up? Or hey, guy, what's up? Let's do this and love you. I want to commit, you know? They have, the passion is there. It's there. It's something that I can't deny. It's undeniable. But the problem here is this person is very confused about what approach they should do. So one moment they're waiting, procrastinating. The next moment they're like, all of us are like, no, 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 I, I love this person. I need to do something about it. You know, that masculine energy where you need to get up and get things done. You know, you want to get up and do what's right for you. Okay, that's a masculine energy out here. So I think this person is very conflicted. Like I said before also, eight of cups in reverse, this person cannot move on from you. Okay, and I think they realize that, they know that. Now it's all like the wait and watch game. Is this person going to choose their heart, their emotions, and finally find the emotional strength to come towards you and tell you that they love you and get the ball rolling? Or they will just completely not completely i'd say they just stick there around with the page of wands in reverse procrastinate sit there thinking what do i do next what do i do next and just sit on the fence and do nothing about it all right that's what i have for you hope this reading resonates please leave your comments below like share subscribe and i'll see you next time bye bye next time bye bye next time bye bye